What's up, Black Ch -ch -ch Crypto Cartel members? It's your man, Derek Bailey. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you know what the cartel's doing and when we're doing it. And don't forget, check out the Discord as well. So today we're talking about MMF Money and Burl. The other day, Burl launched a little bit earlier in the week, I believe, or last week or whatever, uh, MMF uh uh, money man usd came out something like that real close to what i was busy doing other things getting my workout on uh getting back nice and healthy for the summer but let's go ahead let's get to uh let's get to burl first let's talk about burl first now the other day burl launched right and they wanted about 1.5 million in svn all right what they ended up getting around 36 million nine hundred thirty thousand nine hundred twenty five that's three thousand 503% of what they wanted. And that is because people are very excited when MM Finance does something, uh, Launchpad, people are very excited to get into it. When other people come to MMF and do a Launchpad, people are kinda excited and it's kinda eh, which means, you know, people, you know, MMF should probably stick to doing most of the Launchpad, Launchpads themselves, or at this point, slow down on the Launchpads, you got enough stuff in the ecosystem at this minute now let's go look at burl now burl came out people got in the initial uh, initial not launch pad real cheap right went all the way up to around nine dollars 28 cents somewhere around there and people of course sold off real fast because they know that it wasn't going to stay there not worth it at that point and came all the way back down flat line right now it's at around 62 cent that's probably around where people should probably be buying maybe, uh, but we'll see the market will dictate if that is correct at this point. So Burrow is going to be the governance token for MMF money. That's right, that means that you have those tokens, the more you have, the more that you're probably gonna get uh, back with associated fees when people buy and sell uh, and borrow on MMF money. Now, MMF money, like I said before, it has started with MUSD. That's going to be its mad USD. That's going to be their version of stablecoin, right? What they're trying to do, trying to get people moving away from using USDT, USDC, die on their platform and use their native token that will be pegged to $1 or the US dollar which will be uh, this MUSB, MUSD. Now, the thing about the MUSD is that it's gonna be backed a little bit different. Let's go back up before we look at buyback and burn. Now, this is the first hybrid CDP and partially collateralized stable coin platform, MAD USD, that uses two stabilizing tokens, uh, plus minting mechanism to provide backing for MUSD token. That means that they're gonna use two tokens to back this. One will be their native token of MMF, and the other, I believe, is going to be USDC, which I believe, uh, since two stabilizing coin, I guess that's going to be 50-50. It could be 60-40. I don't know how 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 they're doing it. You know, probably more questions for people to ask uh, people at MMF. How is it broken up into the two stabilizing what percentage? But we already know USDC is super stable. That's why people use it because it is pegged to the dollar. And MMF, that thing's up and down. Like one minute is at 170, right now we're down to 63, 64 cent right now, but at least that's enough above the 50 cent mark to at least uh, stabilize and, and, and be able to uh, hold the value of at least half of a MUSD. 50 cent, that's half of a dollar. If MMF can stay there, which it should be able to, we should have no problem now. I, I made a video, like I said before, that I didn't think MMF would ever be back down to 60 cent ever again. And boy, was I wrong about that. So anything could happen. It could go under, of course, uh, 50 cent. But once again, you have to know about the mechanism of the backing. Probably a couple more questions that you guys would probably have to ask uh, Mad Meerkat Finance if you're going to use that token for uh, what they want. They're getting into something where USDT and USDC is very recognized and very trusted 
and now you're asking people to trust your MUSD. So you're probably gonna have to answer a lot of questions about that. But let's go back to the borough. And like I said, the borough is gonna be that governance token and people are looking for this token to be pretty much like um, um, like a pancake swap or, or something like that. So they're hoping that this will get the $40 or maybe even beyond one, one time pancakes at 40. Uh, hopefully we can get beyond. Now the good thing about these governance tokens is that they're supposed to give you at least 50% back in all the fees associated with people coming to uh, MM money and buying and selling and borrowing. So this should have a good effect on that governance token as well, as well as that uh, having the, uh, the borough buyback burn as well. I wanted to talk about that. The BBB calculates all excess value in the system above the collateral ratio and uses this value to buy borough for burning. So that means everything above the collateral that they have in excess of money, they take that buy borough and burn it, which means that it will become deflationary. And I believe Burrow only has about 300 million. Don't quote me on that. You have to see, but I believe it's a very low amount. 300 million is very low if they're there. So that can mean that in a shorter period of time, this could see a tremendous growth in the value of Burrow. That's why a lot of people are getting in right now. They see that dip, they're getting their aping in. You know, that's your thing if you want to. Now, financial advice, you do as you want to. People are aping in and getting a lot of this burrow and holding it as well. Now, not only that, if you have the burrow, you can also, of course, deposit that burrow, burrow in at MMF money. And you can put that in single deposit and you can earn burrow that way. Or you can make a LP of burrow and MMF. You just go to MMF Finance as well and you can make, uh, you can make that LP and you can earn burrow as well from there. All right, so you have that as well. You also have their stable swap, which is finally open. That's the stable.mm finance, right? Where you can get a three mm LP. That means die USDT and USDC. Put all those together into an LP. You can take that over to mm finance, I believe, and you can also deposit that and make money off of that. So that's taking more of that die USDT USDC out of circulation putting in a vault or a pool or whatever and having that you know disappear for a while while people are trying to earn usd uh, trying to earn musd uh as well which once again that would be uh very advantageous for mmf money if people are to use that mmf musd token excuse me you got a lot of MMs, MFs, mother, and every damn thing else going on with MM Finance. The the biggest thing is people are going to have to trust what you guys are doing with the MUSD token to get into the token. It is, uh, it could be, let me say that, it could be advantageous in the future for the ecosystem for people to do that. It means more money coming into the ecosystem, less money going out in USDT, USDC, die, and everything else. So that could bode well as well for the ecosystem over at MMF Finance, which is all good with me because I'm still in them vaults, baby, and I ain't going no damn well like I told you guys as well. Now, guys, don't forget, check me out on Discord as well. We got the Discord up, and in the Discord, we talk about everything, cryptocurrencies, different blockchains, everything else, Kronos alerts, whatever we have also crypto crime stoppers we're one of the very few discords that i know of that we have a place in here for talking about crime stopping on crypto rug pulls soft rug pulls ponzi schemes unethical practices everything else you can think of in crypto crime stoppers as well and we're going to be bringing out something new as well i'm going to be bringing out some crypto edu uh text as well you'll be able to go in and go to one of the text channel learn about uh different parts of uh what is in crypto blockchains layer ones layer twos and everything else i can uh, you know pretty much think of to put in there that will be in there for you guys too you just gotta come in check it out it is totally free i do not charge for you guys to get in the discord i don't do that 
Um, I, I just want you guys to have some fun. Have some fun, talk to each other, leave some information, try to help other people out as well. That's the biggest thing why I do this because I don't make any damn money off this thus far because I still have not unlocked my um, um, my channel, which is which is okay. I, I think this is fun when I do it, when I can do it. But uh, you can only do it so much, especially with me. I got a lot, a lot of other things that I do and it's about time for me to finish this up and go work out at the gym because as you can see, I'm kind of swole up in this area trying to get more swole in all these areas as well. So, <laughs> so make sure you check me out anytime you want to on Black Crypto Cartel and just make sure you stay safe out there and we'll see you next time on the next Black Crypto Cartel.